Well, Mark, uh, 3-0 in the UFC, number 11 in the rankings right now. I guess, you know, how do you feel about your run in the UFC so far? I'm feeling great. Just want to take one more shot, one more win. I hope I will finish it. Thanks. Uh, you know, all the talk this week has been about Habib and walking away from the sport. And I, I just wanted to give you a moment to kind of, I guess, say what it means to you to, to know that he's walking away. One more time? Yeah, that, that Habib is no longer going to be a part of the sport, apparently. And I'm just curious what that, you know, his time means to you or that he's leaving. This guy, my brother, and he, like with me, he cannot go away, like almost. And I was calling him, talk with him about this fight, about cutting weight. And uh, this guy just stopping too much fly, you understand, about me. And when I will go to home, I will train with him. I want to go to his home, say to him, hey, let's go to training. But this guy, even this guy, all the time training, and he, we cannot stop. I love it. All right. Well, you got the matchup with Hayoni Barcelos here. What do you think of him as an opponent? I think this very, very, very hard guys, tough. He have hard punches, not bad kicks, and grappling is nice too. This is one of the tough guy with who I'm, I, I will fight, and uh, we'll see. I'm gonna check him. Nice. You train with a lot of champions of major organizations. Uh, how far do you feel you're away from being a champion as well? I'm ready for will be champion. I'm really ready for fight with anybody in this year, uh, world. Like doesn't matter which organization champion. Like I'm ready. I was training with very very tough guys, and they didn't do like nothing. You understand? And I think I'm ready. Yeah. You win here. Do you ask for specific opponents? Do you call anybody out trying to get to that title shot? Or do you let the UFC decide? I try. I try to call guys, but nobody don't want to take this fight with me. Sean, uh, Sean, I, I talked with Sean Shelby. I was talking with him. And he said, hey, I cannot find fight for, for you. And when they ask me, uh, I will be fight with Barcelos. I say yes. I don't care with who. Even if somebody will be do debut, I will fight. I want to be active. Nice. You're still very young, but do you feel like I mean you can be uh, challenging for a title this year, or do you have time? Sometimes, uh, like in divisions, some guys injured, some guys busy, and they do who have like who free fights. Fighters, they can give a chance, you understand? If, like, happening something like this, maybe. Uh, maybe I will come this year. But I think next year. This year, I'm going to do three, four fights. And in next year, I think end of the, this year, I will be contender number one. Nice. Last thing for me, your goal in this fight, is it just win or is it to get a finish, do something spectacular so people are talking about you? What's your goal? First of all, I want to win, for sure, and I want to show good fight. I want to, for sure, I'm going to finish this guy. Why exactly did Habib retire completely? Was it just the travel or was it something else? Uh, I didn't talk with him about this, about all this situation, and because I was cutting weight beginning, you know, uh, I have I have to be focused about my fight. When I was uh, I will come to home. I will talk with him. How important has he been in your corner, in all of the fighters' corners, and how big a difference will it be not having him there? Of course, this is very big motivation when he close, and uh, I don't know like who how become better. You understand? But everything uh, about you always. If you have to training, if you always do good good camp, good hard work, if you're ready, this is like not matter. Thank you. You, have to, you have to go inside the cage. Hey, Umar. Um, first of all, uh, why don't you have a nickname? Young Eagle. <laughs> Young Eagle, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, um, I guess just, you know, 
why do you think opponents are not are, are not fighting you? Is it is it just because of your last name? Is it because of your skill set? Like you said that not like not even ranked like unranked fighters want to fight you. In the top ten, they always everybody want to fight who's up. They don't want to fighting with somebody like. The down because if they lose to me, they're gonna go to more down. I think that's why. Gotcha. And then finally, Islam is fighting next month. I just want your thoughts on his fight against Alexander Volkanovsky. I think Islam Islam gonna be finished. This guy Islam Islam is very very talented. He's very tough. His his power have like I don't know like oh, like tractor. He's he's very he's very tough. Awesome. Thank you. How do you work on your English? Do you take classes or watch TV or listen to radio? I talk with uh, Javier Mendes always. <laughs> Quick question. Um, Javier had talked to Usman about when he won the title, and he said, uh, hey, when you win the title, you got to take me out to Michael Jordan's steakhouse. Um, are you going to take Usman up on a dinner offer as well if you get the win this weekend? Um, когда, uh... Усман выиграл эм, пояс, он по ходу попросил э, Хавера, чтобы он его э, э, на ужин отвез к Майклу Джордану на, в ресторан. А, ты, ты тоже будешь его просить, когда станешь чемпионом? No. <laughs> I respect these guys, but uh, he's, he's a legend, but I don't care about dinner or lunch. <laughs> okay, and uh, I know you said a title shot's a long way a ways in the future, um, but if Aljamain Sterling is still the champion at that time, how do you think you compare to his style? I think uh, it's it will be a very nice fight, and uh, this guy take, take down everybody, and uh, I think I didn't give him i don't want to give uh, i will i will not i will not give him take me down and i will i can smash him in the strike i think me better like in the strike even in the grapple i i, I don't scare his grapple i don't scare his wrestling and i will i'm i'm already ready i think i'm already ready i'm 27 i'm ready for the fight with anybody don't care with who but for me, just need to time. I need to couple wins for fighting for the title. Umar, приветствую. Вот знаешь, так исторически сложилось, что Раоне Барселос он дважды становился уже такой серьезный, ну первой серьезной проверкой в UFC для наших ребят. И с Саидом Нурмагомедовым был бой такой тяжелый, в итоге Саид проиграл. Потом с Тимуру Валиеву он дал такой очень тяжелый бой. Как вот ты говоришь, что планируешь финишировать его? За счет чего у тебя это получится? И как считаешь, в чем, не знаю, главное такая главное неудобство что ли Раоне Барселоса как соперника? Вот опять же в контексте этих двух боев. Ну я думаю, сам он крепыш. Сам потерял сложение, руки, ноги, все это, ну как сказать, крепкий парень, скажем так. И на самом деле он, он для любого бойца в нашем дивизионе считается проверкой. А на шо, за счет чего я смогу его финишировать, я не знаю, как это здесь сказать. Мне, мне это нужно пойти в клетку, показать. И ну, я собираюсь это сделать. Много с тобой говорили про Хабиба, про то, что этого не будет на поединке. Но есть еще один человек, которого, может быть, ждут в UFC. Хазбек получил в прошлом году американскую визу. И вот интересно, наверное, будет ли он на твоем поединке? Станет ли для него это дебютным таким в качестве амбассадора? На моем дебютном бою, ну, на моем бою его не будет. Как я знаю, он не собирается в ближайшее время в Америку. Но в будущем, я думаю, если Ислам будет здесь драться в Америке, но на Ислам обои он точно прилетит, потому что они вдвоем с Хушета будут друг друга поддерживать.